welcome back to News Updates with Lepore. Well, While it seemed like an ordinary afternoon in southern Sudan, Africa, when life took a threatening turn for Salvadet. Screams erupted outside of his school when war rebels decided to attack his village. His teachers told the boys to run into the bushes, away from their home, away from their family. And the only thing keeping Salva going was the thought that if he survives, he'll be able to find his family again. For thousands of miles, these boys walked to Ethiopia, Kenya, in hopes of survival, in hopes of safety. Please stay tuned to find out what happens with Salva's story. All right, here we have the book, A Long Walk to Water by Linda Sue Park. And she tells the very true story of Salva Dutt and what he went through. And when I first heard of the Lost Boys of the Sudan, which is what he's considered, um, it was actually when they came to visit our high school a few years back. And they were just talking about how they're giving back to their home by building these wells so that people could get instant water, clean water. And I was just impressed by their presence and their giving back. And then I read the story and I was even more in awe of what they went through to survive to get to the where they were now. So Selva now lives in Rochester, New York, and he's still working for this water for S Southern Sudan where he's, you know, he keeps bringing these wells to people in need. Um, so he was taken from his home at the age of 11. This is when he started the running away because he was in danger. And some of the experiences, he, he lost friends, he lost family members. He experienced his own injuries and malnourishment. And it just made me so impressed with the persistence that he had to get before us at the high school and making these huge changes for his family and friends back at home. Um, so you have to read to find out. It is a short story. I actually read this in a day. And it actually toggles between Selva's personal story and this girl named Naya, who is in modern day Sudan. And his starts back in 1985 when the attack began. So you have this differing um, perspective and you get to find out what happens to Naya in present day Sudan and um, how their stories connect. So let me know if you'd want to read A Long Walk to Water.